Breaking news. I'm kind of a dummy. When it comes to my first initial reaction to the uh, PS5, I gotta be honest, I kind of was with uh, the rest of the crowd when it came to just jumping the gun. And I think I do jump the gun on some of my takes too. Like, if I hear people saying certain things and I'm around certain people, like in their spheres, like if you're like hanging around some of their... I don't know, they have hot takes or they have like their own opinions. <clears throat> I'm trying not to be so influenced or easily influenced by others, but I have difficulties myself. So this uh, woman here, this is a fairly unknown, you know, relatively unknown uh, uh, account on uh, YouTube. Daily Hubranks, Hubranks, Hubranks. I mean, I actually like her take on all of this when <clears throat> the PS5 Pro was being announced. I think she must have been somebody that was out here saying stuff, but since she doesn't have a big following and she's not like a big person out here, you know, her stuff just kind of got like pushed down and or heavily downvoted because you'll see, I think in here, like she posts it up. This is just the way I do my takes. Like I'll just, you know, have a video up and talk about certain things um, but I think I definitely got it wrong on my first video when I was talking about the pro and I'm not even somebody that does a lot of deep dives into like the hardware and if there's like announcements for stuff like especially hardware related which I haven't done any other videos relating to like PS5s or anything like that so that was kind of my first forte or like first kind of running uh, with something and I just happen to say oh don't get it it's too expensive she breaks it down on a level that is like you know it makes a lot more sense when you're actually comparing what PCs actually do cost what the hardware actually is actually putting out because like Digital Foundry and other guys have done that so you know I'm just gonna play some of her video and I would definitely recommend giving her props giving her like you know views and you know, going to her channel for like some of that stuff and I'm just citing her because I think she's probably one of the ones that might be more of like the wait until you see the hardware wait until you see the facts kind of person doing a little bit more digging and you know trying to get the truth out there so I'm just gonna play some of her video here and then you can just go to it and do your own investigating and then, like, I had other stuff pulled up on before. But anyway, let's just play this one. Remember when I said the PS5 Pro would be a better investment than a $2,000 gaming rig? Yeah, I'm sticking to that. I'm already seeing those doom and gloom thumbnails popping up all over YouTube. PS5 Pro will be a complete flop. Bro, chill. Y'all said the same thing about the PS Portal and the PS5. And guess what? Both sold like crazy. The same thing is gonna happen here. Once the reviews start rolling in and real gamers start testing it out at home, you'll see it's the real deal. Despite all the drama and accusations of clickbait, there's a growing reality that Xbox players and even some PC gamers are switching to the PS5 Pro. While this doesn't apply to every PC player, it's worth thinking about the average rig most people have. Many PC gamers don't have top tier hardware. In fact, just to match what the PS5 Pro offers, you'd need a graphics card like the NVIDIA 4070 which costs around $600 by itself. When you add in the CPU, motherboard, RAM, storage, case, and cooling, you're looking at a system that easily surpasses $1,500. On top of that, every time a new game drops, PC gamers are stuck checking system requirements, tweaking settings, and watching tutorials on how to optimize their rig to get the best performance. That can be a hassle for those who just want to jump into a game. The PS5 Pro, on the other hand, offers a straightforward plug-and-play solution, 4K at 60 FPS with ray tracing, all without the need for extra setup. This makes the... Okay, so <clears throat> I definitely do not <clears throat> want to just play her old video or, you know, I'm not going to bounce around too much in the video, but she's, like, for one, breaking down, like, the price-to-performance kind of ratio that you're going to be getting and also, like, what it costs for actual PCs that would be probably the equivalent of a pro... And I think we all should have probably been that way. We should have just waited for the facts to come out instead of just being like, that's way too much and stuff. 
when you actually consider that it could be almost like a $2,000 PC, like performance wise, uh, or close to a $2,000 PC, like, and I'm somebody that gets it wrong. Like I get caught up in the mix a lot. Um, but yeah, I recommend, uh, you know, cause I'm already somebody that's on board getting a PS5 Pro now. Uh, and I've already stated that in my last video on it. Um, I think it's on there. Like I put some 8k is possible with it um, because somebody else did a video talking about Gran Turismo 7 and uh, I recommend watching that video as well um, but and then she <clears throat> she definitely roasts some of the guys that were talking about certain things <laughs> like Linus Tech Tips Jay's Two Cents and other folks that have you know jumped the gun on a lot of things <clears throat> and gotten things wrong and either haven't gone back on it or haven't been really fully had their feet held to the fire on some of that stuff like I mean they're probably not gonna retract anything or even say that like they were wrong on it they might put out new videos saying stuff but I don't know <clears throat> but anyway I think it's definitely well worth it getting a pro now and more than worth it if it's you know you're just wanting almost a high-end gaming rig you know without paying an arm and a leg for the parts <clears throat> then get a pro for sure and uh, that's pretty much all I'm probably gonna say about it I think you guys should just watch her video on it because she really does she'll let she lays into some of the, the tech guys and they all kind of do similar things too and I mean they do get it wrong a lot of times on some stuff <clears throat> but that one kind of like just really shows you you know how quick people are to just jump the gun so I think that's it I think I'm just gonna you know guide you to her video and uh, say that I was wrong and then I have to do better not to get too caught up in stuff and just have my own takes I usually try to keep it balanced try to have neutral takes on certain things not too neutral though like if it's like political or something like that but if it's just like console or video games and certain culture stuff pop culture stuff then I might take hard stances on certain things but other than that <clears throat> that's basically all I have to say and uh, like subscribe and do the things that people are doing out here and uh, I, I do want to make these videos a little bit more entertaining for people I know that I have a vanilla I like I have a very straightforward kind of vanilla approach to making videos not a lot of editing in my videos either so it's like maybe that's something that detracts from the video but I will try to do some stuff or change things up a little bit as time goes on I'm just gonna try to mix it up a little bit or you know switch it up when I can but uh, anyway that's all I got for this one uh, see you guys on the next one